22nd April 2020 Just mixing up the soil Getting the fertilizers into the soil Check it out, lucky deal. Okay, my love, honey. Like to like to rock there, rock there. It retains the water. Do I like it? It's a little, it's a little bit of a mishap. So that's the compost from the composter. Goes in on top of the a polystyrene, sorry. The polystyrene helps to retain the water and then this is a mix of so it's it's soil from last year which we bought and what we do is we mix in all-purpose uh, multi-purpose compost with different types of different types of other compost such as this this one and we get a John in one you just get a variety of ones with good feed in them and just mix them up uh, so you got a, a wide, a mo wide range of different fertilizers in there. A lot of food for the plant to grow from. So you're just mixing in the old soil with the new soil. It really depends on uh, your yields from the previous year. So last year we didn't have too much growing, so there'll be a lot of fertilizers still in the soil. Whereas the year before that we had a lot of vegetables, so we did we didn't use uh, we didn't reuse that. So it really just depends on your yield. So that's more compost going into there. Well, let's have a look at that. So as you can see, it's pretty much. Can you see? So this is probably some of the best stuff you can put in your pots and it's just kitchen scraps and throughout the year you can collect a lot of them it's got so many different nutrients in it So these big pots are for the seedlings that we've grown inside. I'll show you them a bit later on. But for the small pots that you use for your seedlings, don't use this sort of compost, don't use this type of food. No, if you don't mix it, you can use liquid food. Yeah. So this year um, we put our order through of uh, fish, blood and bone and chicken manure pellets, but 
due to the current uh, coronavirus um, crisis we're having a lot of delays and deliveries so we might not be able to get those fertilizers into the soil uh, beforehand but again uh, it is what it is really uh, we're just working with what we got but like I said this is some of probably the best stuff you can use your own compost your own uh, kitchen scrubs and you'll always have access to this all year round um, So I think this is a 50 litre uh, and my mum has completely cleared this thing out it was full to the brim um, so you just add in all your scraps uh, which can be compostable so that's like vegetables raw foods um, egg cartons things like that and you have to add in a, a type of bacteria into there which uh, helps with the de uh, decomposing process um, the, you can just find them online they go by the name of compost makers so yeah again with these compost these are not the usual ones which we get um, this year we've ran out of compost uh we went to the garden center and for the first time in my life or so it was completely cleared out i guess that's because a lot of people want to get into gardening this year during this lockdown but it's nice to see that other people are trying here too uh kind of quite therapeutic <laughs> Amidi Tamni. Amidi Tamni. Yes, I'm not a good one. I'm not a Doing this at the moment. <laughs> She's a very hard worker. She's up every morning at 9 a.m. has been done to the rest of them as you can see um, this is just the last one So the aim was this, is just to mix all the soil up from underneath and above and get all the lumps broken up so it, it allows the air to flow through the soil. So as you can see she's going to get underneath, bring it up, break it up. This is mainly for people who have gardens, uh, which have beds like this, uh, whereas when you have pots and stuff, it's just like uh, as it is in the back, you don't really have to do that, <laughs> the compost is already broken up. So, if you go down in the description, I'll go over to all the seedlings and the plants that we've got inside and show you what we've got ready for this year uh, i hope you like the video please leave a like subscribe and share i'm loving all your comments uh, i love reading them 
I see comments from all over the world and it's amazing to see that my mum's gardening is having such an influence on so many of you. So yeah, just uh, drop us a like, subscribe if you like our content and hopefully this year we're going to try and get a lot more content out.